Reed Jones was a farmer just north of Atlanta. His wife laid sick in bed. Just picture it, can't you? A baby in her womb, a storm raging outside. The lightning locked them in. The storm poured from the skies. The wind and rain battered that tiny Georgia town. The hails and gales tore power lines down. The back window had been knocked out by flying debris, and there was no help that either of them could see. Emily, Reed's wife, her complexion was shoddy. Nausea, pain, and cold racked all of her body. She moaned and cried and prayed that it was just the flu, but Reed Jones had no clue what to do. He set a candle on the nightstand and tucked in his ailing wife and slammed his knees down to the floor to beg God for her life. Please, Lord, please, God, save my wife and child. The winds started blowing, and there came something wild. The wind it calmed, the rain it stopped, but what came was a storm indeed, like crinkled at the edges of the walls, golden as ripening wheat. And fading in as the room became light was a figure about eight feet tall, his stature not only dwarfed the Joneses, but seemed to stretch their walls. He wore a tan leather duster, with black pants, shirt, and boots beneath. The duster looked dirty and worn, and tassels hung from the sleeves. On top of his head was a black cowboy hat, obscuring his eyes and nose. A smirk on his lips, surrounded by a goatee, stood frozen in a wry pose. Before the figure opened that mouth, Reed Jones stared blankly and knew he was in the presence of an angel, and there was nothing he could do. The voice was richer than honey and brighter than those flecks of gold light, deeper than the deepest part of the Chattahoochee, and it spoke a prophecy that night. Reed Jones, good and faithful servant. Your wife will be saved from death's dark current. Your daughter is well, but she'll be born with power. All weather before her eyes will cower. And with God's help, she will withstand great adversity. She will lose everything, but she will learn this homily. If Christ is with us, who can be against us? Your daughter, Reed Jones, will stand for justice. And just like that, the angel was gone. Before Reed could say a word, he jumped back up to his precious wife by love and worry he was spurred. But his wife lay there asleep and warm, her color now rosy red, and her breathing was as calm and relaxed as the baby that laid within her in that bed. Reed Jones cried with utter relief as the sky above turned red too, praising God Almighty in heaven for there was nothing he could do. A few weeks after that, Emily birthed from brittle bones, a daughter with brown hair, and they named her Cirrus Jones.